Welcome to Beer Barbecue Baseball. I'm going to do a little taste challenge here. A um, week or so ago, I reviewed the Natural Light. And I kind of went on a little rant about, um, you know, the differences between Natural Light and Mick Ultra, and that I thought Natural Light would be better for most people to drink. Um, I think it personally, I think it's better tasting than a Mick Ultra. It's cheaper than a Mick Ultra. Um, the difference is McUltra has 2.6 grams of carbs and it has 95 calories and Natural Light has 3.2 grams of carbs and 95 calories. So there's not a lot of difference there. However, there's a huge different difference in price. So I thought, you know what? I don't want to eat my words, but maybe I'll, I'll go out. I'll buy the, another Natural Light here and I'll do a quick taste test see which one actually tastes better. So here we go. Uh, all right, that's Mac Ultra. I'm gonna pour them gently. Okay, so that's the Mick Ultra. This is a fairly new Mick Ultra. I got it from a friend that works at AB. Very clear as you can see. Put this back up here. Okay, got them poured. About the same. They actually look relatively the same. You'll have to trust me here. You can see the tops of them. I'm gonna mix them up here real quick. All right. So here's the first one. Very clear, big uh, carbonation bubbles on there. Not sure if you can see it. it smells really bready. On for the taste. It's smooth. Finishes pretty clean. A little bit of breadiness in there. You get a slight hint of hops. Cleanse my palate. On to the next one. Pretty much the same thing. Clear, same size bubbles. This one has more of a more of a beer taste, you know, just a regular old beer. Hmm. This might be a little harder than I thought. This one kind of lingers around a little bit longer, a little more dryness on the tongue. This one finishes off a lot more cleaner. And when I say cleaner, I don't necessarily mean that it tastes better. It's just more of a smooth, clean finish off the tongue. This one has more of a uh, dryness on the tongue. I think this is the natural light. Just because that lingering on the tongue um, got a little bit more flavor 
not a lot, just a little bit. You can tell that these are both light beers. Um, so I'm going to say that this is the natural light. Excuse me. Now these aren't these aren't that much different in taste, to be honest with you. I thought I would be able to tell the natural light right away, but the differences are very, very subtle. Wow. This is the Mick Ultra. This is the Mick Ultra. Okay. So this one I thought tasted a little better. Because I thought it had a little more flavor. Now that I'm drinking them, I do get a lot of carbonation burn, too. But, man, they're very, very close. I mean, very close. So my point is, save some money and go for the natural light. I mean, I bought this, this 25-ouncer for $1.25. So... But you all do what you want. I thought it would be fun to just kind of do a follow-up video. Um, I mean, really, I thought I would pick the Natural Light because I thought that had more flavor. Um, but they're not much different at all. And if I, I would just, I would just buy purely for the uh, lower price beer. And these are so close um, that that's what I would, I would grab the Natural Light for sure. So. Hope you enjoyed this this video. I went a little quick longer than I wanted to, but I hope you finished watching it, and uh, we'll talk at y'all later.